Hi, this is Brandon with Shredbox, and I wanted to do an overview of the Fender Fuse user interface today. There's a lot to it, so let's just dive in. You're going to notice when you connect your amplifier that it's going to bring up the last setting that you were playing on. So we've got this amplifier in the middle here, right? If I want to change something on it, let's say like middle. I'm playing on a Mustang 2V2. I don't have a middle EQ knob on my amp. Well, I can just drag this by clicking and going up and down or left and right. Any knob in Fender Fuse, just click, drag up and down or left and right. Okay, up here you're going to see PC and Amp. Let's click on Amp. These are all of the settings you've got loaded into your amp based on what position they're in. So amber, green, red. Let's just click on one. Presets save both amplifier information and effect information. So that was a bad example because it brought up the same amp, but let's bring up like metal octave. You'll notice it changed the amp and changed the effects. And these knobs are all over the place. That's because it saves the values of those different knobs for amps and effects. In the middle here, you're going to see this amplifier. Uh, that's kind of the active component. So if I click on Advanced Amp, you're going to get effects like Master Volume, a Noise Gate, some other things, the Cabinet, which, let's say I'm on this Metal 2000 amp, but I want a Bassman Cab. You can change that and get a different sound out of your amplifier. Amp has a drop-down. Uh, these are all of the different amplifier models that are available to you. If you change that, notice the effects don't change, and my preset doesn't change. I'm still in metal octave. So if I change the amplifier to like a Princeton, and I save this, see how the save is red? That means you've changed something in the preset. This is going to be my new metal octave preset. If I want to kind of get out of that, just maybe click up and down. It's going to take you back to where it originally was. Okay, there's another place that you can access all of these presets, and it's in your media library. Notice how computer is highlighted, and source, these all say PC. So these are all just presets that I've downloaded from Fender Fuse. If I click on web, all of these sources from the web are going to come up. And then you can search up here. Let's search like blues. Sometimes it takes a second. But what should happen is you're going to see all of these presets are going to have blues somewhere in them. So, like genre, these are all blues presets. Let's say I want to download one of them. Right click download preset. That preset comes up. Not only does it appear in your main screen, but it is going to be in your um, computer presets. So this is in here now. Alright, let's go back to the preset editor. So you've seen these effects, post and preamp. Well, how do you get those in? Just click in the spot, select what you want. Let's say I want a reverb. And then there's a drop-down menu that gives you all of the reverb options that you have. You're going to notice something when I put this modulation in. right? It disappeared post effect. So you can't have the same type of effect pre and post. You also can't have the same type of effect on the same side, so I can't put a second modulation in. It's just going to move it. Moving pedals around is really simple. Just click and drag to reorder them. Knobs all over the place. <laughs> just have fun tweaking those. Again, click, drag up and down or left and right. You can do that in the bottom window, or you can do it up in the top. Uh, Pre-effects, you've got color options, so if you don't like the color of one, just change it. I think you might be able to do that. Nope, not post, but you can change the type. You can change 
the knobs. You've got an on-off here. You also have an on-off for the stomp boxes. Notice whatever I'm clicking becomes my active component. Let me go back to basic amp here. Okay, so let's say I change this stuff. If I save it, it's saving under this preset. If I want a new preset, I have to click new and then I'll put an amp in and then you can add effects. Let's say you've been messing around with different effects. You can save those by clicking save effects on the right and then let's click on like delete me. I already had the basically these two in here as delete me. But if you click around, you know, so these are changing your modulation effects. And then if I click in delay and reverb, that's going to change what effects I have in there. So let's say you want a new one. You just click new, and then you can either go to your saved effects, or you can just add in new ones and create something from scratch. And then click save. I'll just call this one delete me. Now, if I go to my media library in computer, you'll see delete me is there. Right click. You can either load the preset, which will bring it up in your main window, save the preset to amp, which is going to give you an option to rename it and put it in a position with whatever color and letter option you want. You can just click through those. It's also going to give you the option to upload it to Fender Fuse Community or delete it. Alright, back in this main screen. So we've gone over how to change the amplifier, how to change effects, uh, how to save effect configurations. We've gone over saving your preset. We've gone over accessing what's on your amplifier, what's on your PC in multiple locations. There's also a tuner up in the top right. It should be coming up. There we go. It's a chromatic tuner. Okay, backing tracks. I think that's the only thing we've got left. So we go to the media library. Uh, you can double click on one of these. And then if I go back to the preset editor, you'll see this band is loaded. If I click start, that's going to give me a backing track to play to. You can also change those by just clicking on band and then going mp3 slash wave and click on it and you can tell it to loop. If I'm in the media library and I click on web, there's all of these too. You can either just double click it and it'll start downloading or you can right click download band track row. Let's try that on a different one. There we go. I think I just had too much going on at once. Alright, well, that's pretty much all there is to Fender Fuse, so enjoy. Leave some comments if you have any questions. Uh, yeah, keep on chasing that tone.